Zeus, your son has returned! I bring the destruction of Olympus! Hey folks, fans of epic stories, let's dive into the world of chaos, revenge, and angry gods in God of War 3. We're picking up right where things left off in God of War 2, continuing the journey of Kratos, the rebellious god of war. Get ready for a wild ride. Picture the chaos as Zeus narrates the dire situation, urging the gods into battle. Helios soars on his chariot. Hermes speeds down the peaks of Olympus. Hades engages Titans in his colossal form. Hercules leads his troops into the fray. And Poseidon, utilizing Aquakinesis, strikes down from Olympus, leaving destruction in his wake. The greatest threat in this divine clash is Poseidon, who decimates Titans and sets his sights on Gaia herself. Enter Kratos, who confronts Poseidon in a fierce battle. With cunning tactics, Kratos weakens Poseidon and forces him out of his godly form. The relentless struggle reaches its climax as Kratos, fueled by vengeance, savagely beats Poseidon, gouges out his eyes and snaps his neck before tossing him into the ocean. However, the victory comes at a cost. Poseidon's demise triggers a cataclysmic flood, submerging the Greek world and annihilating humanity atop Mount Olympus. Undeterred, Kratos and Gaia press on towards Zeus's pavilion, enduring the king of the gods' furious assault. A powerful lightning blast from Zeus severs a massive portion of Gaia's arm, sending them tumbling down Olympus. Kratos, surviving the fall with the aid of the Golden Fleece, attempts to cling to Gaia using the Blade of Olympus. Yet Gaia, battling for survival, reveals that Kratos was merely a pawn in the gods' game, and now stands as expendable. As she ascends, Kratos plummets to his apparent demise. In the depths of the river Styx, Kratos contemplates his existence and resolves to escape Hades once more. A reunion with Athena, now in a new level of existence, propels him forward. Athena offers aid, granting Kratos new weapons and defining his next quest to find and extinguish the flame of Olympus, the key to defeating Zeus. As Kratos treads deeper into the underworld, he stumbles upon mysterious scrawls on the ground, silent echoes of voices from his haunting past. The underworld whispers its secrets, and Kratos listens, the weight of his history heavy on his shoulders. Venturing into Hades' palace, Kratos discovers the coffin-wed body of Persephone a grim reminder of Hades' deeds. The confrontation with the god of the underworld ensues in a dark cavern, where Hades, formidable and relentless, engages Kratos in a battle of divine proportions. In a brutal turn, Kratos rips off Hades' helmet, steals his weapons, and then, with a ruthless determination, tears out Hades' soul, absorbing it with the menacing claws of Hades. Escape beckons through a Hyperion gate, and Kratos ascends Olympus, facing both titans and gods alike. The encounters are fierce and unrelenting. Helios on his chariot loses his head at Kratos' hands. Hermes' legs meet a swift and merciless end, as Kratos acquires the boots of Hermes. Hercules, his own half-brother, falls to Kratos' brutal onslaught with the Nemean Cestus. The goddess chamber reveals the radiant Aphrodite and her handmaidens, and Tartarus witnesses the titan Kronos pierced in the head by the blades of Olympus. Betrayal unfolds as Hephaestus falls to Kratos, but not before passing on the nemesis whip, a weapon of vengeance. Battles rage against Scorpius, the queen of the Scorpions. The journey is marred by tragedy as Hera meets her demise at Kratos' hands, driven by insults hurled at Pandora, a creation of Hephaestus, the key to extinguishing the flame of Olympus. 
until Kratos stands at the precipice of the flame's chamber with Pandora, only to be rudely interrupted by the thunderous presence of Zeus himself. Pandora, the key to Pandora's box and the embodiment of a sacrificial destiny, stands poised to fulfill her purpose. However, a sudden change of heart grips Kratos as he is confronted with the truth that lies within the flame. Pandora was destined to sacrifice herself, a revelation that strikes a chord with Kratos's tortured soul. In an unexpected turn, Zeus, in a cunning display of manipulation, prods Kratos with pleas not to fail her like he failed his family. This inadvertent provocation sends Kratos into a maddened rage. He releases Pandora and launches a ferocious attack on Zeus, only to be stunned by the dissipation of the flame. Kratos, driven by relentless fury, opens Pandora's box once more, mirroring the events of the past, only to find it empty. Zeus mocks him for another failure and retreats outside to recover, leaving Kratos consumed by an ever-intensifying rage. Father and son meet once more on a familiar platform, but the confrontation is disrupted by the reawakened Gaia. The platform shakes violently, forcing them inside her colossal body. Within her chest, a brutal duel ensues between Kratos and Zeus, near her heart. Zeus drains her life force, rejuvenating himself, but Kratos retaliates, impaling Zeus against her heart, seemingly ending both gods. As the cracked earth awakens Kratos, he callously extracts the blade of Olympus from Zeus's impaled body. Yet, Zeus's lingering spirit, fueled by hatred, attacks Kratos, draining him of willpower and filling him with fear. On the brink of death, Kratos embarks on a mental journey guided by Pandora, overcoming torment and reclaiming his strength, his godly powers, and a newfound sense of hope. With an undying spirit, Kratos forces Zeus's spirit back into his body, beating him to death with bare hands, marking the ultimate demise of the Olympians. Athena arrives to claim the power of hope, but it reveals it was released upon forgiving himself, not from the box. Refusing to relinquish the power, Kratos impales himself on the blade of Olympus, unleashing a radiant ray of blue light into the sky. granting mankind the power of hope. Athena, furious at Kratos' defiance, removes the blade, expressing disappointment. In a mysterious post-credits scene, the spot where Kratos' body lay is now empty, with a trail of blood leading off the edge of the cliff. The tale concludes leaving echoes of hope for the survival of the ghost of Sparta.